though, is on its way out. But the snow it leaves behind is making for dangerous avalanche conditions across the region. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens is tracking the situation. The last two days left parts of the state with more than a foot of snow. While the result may have turned some areas into a real-life winter wonderland, the snow can bring with it increased risk of avalanches. Let's start with where I'm at right now, Missoula's Rattlesnake Area. The West Central Montana Avalanche Center says avalanche danger is high Thursday in the Rattlesnake Area, Bitterroot Mountains, and Sealy Lake. The center says the added snow and wind makes human-triggered avalanches likely, starting at middle and higher elevations. Up north, the backcountry avalanche forecast for the Flathead Range in Glacier National Park is listed as considerable at all levels of elevation. Danger is also high in southern Montana. The Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center issued an avalanche warning for Cook City. Danger is considered high on all slopes. The National Weather Service says the three factors that cause an avalanche are slope, snowpack, and a trigger. Most avalanches occur on slopes steeper than 30 degrees. Shooting cracks are a sign that the snow is unstable. And many things can trigger an avalanche, including new snow, wind, and people. The agency recommends you have a transceiver, shovel, and a probe in the case of an avalanche. That way, you can be found or find and save someone else. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana.